If you're learning EKGs, I got an EKG pop quiz. Come on. Now take a look here at this EKG of the day. This EKG we have here, the key to this answer is the PR interval. It's the key to this type of EKG. Notice the PRI, it gets longer and longer and longer, and then we drop a beat whereby we have this P wave, you know, all by itself. There's no corresponding QRS with it, right? This is second degree type one. If we see a second degree type one heart block, the first thing I think about, we gotta do a 12 weight EKG. Once we've gotten that out of the way, we gotta look at the patient. Is the patient stable or is it unstable? Now, with second degree type one, this EKG, we are still able to get effects of atropine. So the patient is stable and they're maintaining okay and their blood pressure is okay. And you think, all right, this second degree type one is probably causing what's going on. We can try atropine out. Now, if they're unstable, meaning their altered mental status, meaning their blood pressure is under nice systolic, they're not doing so good. Well, then we have the pacemaking function on the life pack. It's time to start pacing the patient and placing the pads on them.